Old uh, USA, Samoa and South Africa aspiring uh, series champions themselves are up here against Canada who are languishing in 13th position in the standings as they uh, come into this last tournament of the season. South Africa against Canada and South Africa lead 33-5 to in the series and just to remind ourselves that uh, Canada were winless in Singapore, winless in Paris as well and they will have to go to Monaco uh, if they are to progress to the Olympic Games in Rio and they'll have to win that repertoire where Samoa await them. Interesting starting lineup here for South Africa. Speckman, Sonatla, Soizwapi, the Flyers. They're rested for this one. As is Snayman, the captain. Carl Brown takes charge. Canada, they've got the big guys in Chivanovic, Fulifau, and Moonlighter, who leads the Canadian effort. Trainer Douglas Hammond and Jones, the, uh, the backs. It'll be interesting to see how they go, particularly so without their inspiration, Nathan Hirayama, who's injured in Paris last weekend. Well, absolutely. The top scorer, Nathan Hirayama, is a an absolute superstar of the sevens game and I think the South African side they're definitely using some of the youngsters but what an opportunity for Dylan Stage, for Stefan Dippenau, Ryan Kankowski you know he's a super rugby player who's come back and is really making a, a bid for Olympic dreams to be <laughs> to be opened up and I think this tournament for him is a good one. Francois Hocott is, a, is an incredible player we know that they will not underestimate this Canadian team, but I think, as you said, they've, they've taken it as an opportunity not to be playing three of their frontline players. Pressure on players, pressure on referees as well in the lead up to Rio. Alex Ruiz from France takes charge of this one. His 118th uh, game in charge. Canada then will kick off uh, through Harry Jones. So it's South Africa against uh, Canada, and Jones uh, takes charge. Uh, of the, the kicking duties, usually taken up by Nathan Hirayama. South Africa, they had the mathematical chance of uh, winning the series. They trail Fiji by 14 points. It's a, it's a tough ask. So first uh, possession then for South Africa, Cecil Africa. Playing out on the, on the wing and then the, the sweeper role. This is uh, Kyle Brown. And a chance here for South Africa down the far side. Working a try early on in this match. The opening score then, and that goes uh, to Ryan Kankowski. Wasn't sure whether it was him, uh, Bob Skinster. He's lost a fair bit of weight, doesn't he? Absolutely. He's been working so hard. I've just got to say, from a, an outsider's point of view, I had the great privilege of going to the, the Blitzbox training twice this weekend and seeing the level that they're training at. Kankowski's been a super rugby superstar he's come back and, and he's really put in the time on and off the field it's going to be an important conversion here but also because he managed to run it in off the wing what a lovely piece of play there from kyle brown look at brown's experience he waits holds up lucas hammond and then when he's taken on two players the one-handed offload and kankowski they used to call him the hoff but an unbelievable athlete and uh, he's got a great step on him there. It was more a pair of just opening those legs and running it in. What a great ability to do so from yeah, the big Two man. interesting things there. You mentioned Ryan Kankowski who's lost a fair bit of weight to get back into the squad. Kyle Brown, the, the captain's armband has been transferred to Philip Schneeman. And interestingly, uh, what's behind that? You've, you've spoken to Neil Powell. Uh, Carl Brown, well, he's had a few injury uh, concerns of late. He did. He was he was missing the odd tournament because of sort of overplay, so they put him into rest here as we see Canada attacking. What they've done is they've, they've brought him back into a skipper role in this. So we'll see him talking here, there, gesticulating, moving the arms, Canada attacking up the wing. Well, I'll get on to that in the break. That's uh, Fulifau, big Mike Fulifau from the Castaway Wanderers, taking the ball into touch. Alex Ruiz was... Uh, uh, waiting for advantage to accrue to Canada, which never came, so he's calling back to uh, halfway. Yeah, great experience for the Canadian players. Qualify well, there is was flick the ball inside. They're going to go and grab some territorial advantage. They need to get it all the way out. They'll want to play rugby deep in South Africa's half. That's a very useful kick uh, from uh, Harry Jones from the uh, Capilano Club there in uh, Vancouver. Of course, we enjoyed the tournament out in Vancouver, the first uh, tournament ever on uh, Canadian soil and uh, welcomed and entertained royally by the Canadian Rugby Union. So a chance in here for Canada inside the uh, South African 22 for the uh, first time. That's Connor Trainer. 
takes on uh, Kankowski, lays it back for the captain, Moonlight, Hammond. Oh, a neat little offload there for Justin Douglas, needs some support. Let's get the advantage. Now the fully foul right out on the uh, on the far wing. The back to strength comes uh, Chivanovic. It seems that everybody's watched the video of Sonny Bill Williams. Little offloads. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Wait, Mark is here. Hammond wants to take it quickly. Well, they were very clever there, Canada. They dropped a knee onto the ground, so turned it into a tackle situation. They've milked the penalty smartly. So now they're just going to reset. They, they don't want to miss out. As you see, the face, the concerned face of John Moodnight there, he knows that not a lot of opportunities are going to come their way. They have to capitalize. For Jones on the decoy run was uh, John Moonlight Douglas well tackled no, in midfield Give some space out on the uh, on the right this is a good That's defense a from the blitz box very very in your face lots of pressure on Canada yeah the tackle made by Huchart the kick through by Connor Trainer. just a little too strong oh. It really was inches, wasn't it? What a lovely dive from Trainer. It was a nice thought from him. Maybe just a slightly less strong kick would have would have helped him. Was there an extra shoulder from Kinkowski as he went through? No, they both released him. Good work from Sage and Ryan Kinkowski. Wow. Two or three inches. And look at that, there comes the dive. Just missed by that. It's a, it's a deep kick from South Africa. And that's been a disappointing season for Canada. They've uh, failed to progress through to the uh, Cup quarterfinals in uh, every tournament, bowl winners in Sydney and in Vancouver. And to think that just over a year ago in Tokyo, they were turning over the likes of New Zealand. Absolutely. It was fantastic to see Gareth Reese and a couple of the Canadian officials uh, were in our, our hotel and just talking about rebuilding and the hard work that's going into Canadian rugby. So here come the Canada and looking for a score that might bring them back on uh, level terms, about 140 to the break. Kyle Brown goes in, gets his hands on the good. ball. Terrific work there by the uh, Springbok captain. Kankowski stretches his legs, scored over on the left earlier on. Now it's a score on the right, and uh, South Africa have extended their lead to 12 points. Well, that's brilliant speed from Kankowski. He's, uh, a definite contender playing in the front row this blitz box sides are utilizing him here but look at that that's the experience of the old skipper Carl Brown he's in and he's nicked that ball he's away so quickly how knows who he's got outside him flicks it to Kanko and he's over in the corner South South Africa against the grain right footed from the near touch line what a kick what a kick from cecil africa that's the value of cecil africa and here's the value of ryan kankowski some competition for that number four shirt with quagga smith as well absolutely and you've you've nailed it on the head i think what neil powell wants like any coach is he wants he wants a real superstar and good competition backing up every key position africa Hoist the high kick taken there by uh, Harry Jones. Canada desperately need a score here Parkour. as we enter the red zone. Is that up and in defense from the blitz box, which just cuts it off? They've got to go around the outside here, Canada. Well, they haven't got the pace that uh, South Africa have, and to think uh, that they have okay. the likes of Speckman, Sinatla, and Soyuz Waki to come on in the second half should they need them. But there it is for the opening uh, seven minutes, two tries uh, claimed uh, by the number four, Ryan Kankowski. And a brilliant uh, conversion from the touchline there from Cecil Africa. And South Africa lead Canada by 14 points to nil. same page you know let's all just get on the same page let's just fucking go out at 100 percent just an attack our intensity at the ruck is spot on okay 
really good. We hit him that guy early, getting that ball away. Look, our keep ball on the hole is good. They are trying to hold us up. So when we pound, we've got to go from there to there and punch in and pump your legs. Okay, if we get caught standing up, we're going to get held up. So when we pound, just make sure we get our tilt and our leg drive in there. Our ruck work is good after that. There's a good few minutes where we kept ball well there. We've just got to stay on page a little bit attack-wise. We're going off on our own sometimes. Let's get whip and roll, and that's what we all know, and that's what we can work to. Okay? Happy with that. So on page and attack, make sure we get our tilt and our leg drive. Right? Defensively, you're strong. Okay, keep that there. There Boys, we go. Hey, two things for me. Stay out. Our shape is great. We don't need to pinch in. Hey, it's not about fucking right or wrong. It's about fucking working for each other. Yeah, yeah. Liam Middleton is the uh, the coach of Canada, and we uh, apologize for some... Uh, Industrial language you might have heard uh, at the huddles, but such are the pressures Let's when you're down there languishing in 13th place in the standing position. Yes. To Neil Powell. Yes. Well, Neil Powell, a former player himself, and interestingly, no less than 10 of the coaches on the international circuit are former players and former captains of the respective countries. Yeah, Neil was a, a great player for the Blitzbox himself. I played some rugby with his, his brother Jimmy, who's a qualified dentist actually, works over in the UK, so no doubt they'll be catching up around uh, the sevens. It's certainly a good week for people to see family and friends. The players have all been delighted about a, a visit, but it's down to business right here at Twickenham. Cecil Africa gets to restart his side lead by 14 points to nil. Canada can't gather at the restart. Here there's the uh, two try scorer, Ryan Kankowski. Right from the start of the second half. That's a neat little chip from Cecil Africa. Dylan Sage couldn't quite gather. He'll be a little disappointed with that. Yeah, be disappointed. Dylan Sage, a youngster, he plays centre in the 15s game as well. He's playing centre, wing, and in the forwards here for uh, the Blitz Box. And, you know, wonderful find. Great contributor. Works very, very hard in that ruck and tackle area win. Yeah, made his debut in uh, Cape Town back in uh, December, and he's kept the shirt since then. Welch. So Neil Powell clearly uh, thinks quite a, a great deal of uh, this youngster. Set. Francois Hochard looking on there, he's no stranger to the crowds here as he's been competing in the, the Premiership, he was named Premiership Player of the Year, Player of the, the Month, sorry, a, well, he's a, month, turned, a month ago uh, and is competitive. Ten Worcester season round, didn't he? Uh, Francois Hochard has been released. Uh, One of the positive things I heard around the squad as well is his contribution to, to this squad absolutely zero ego zero baggage he's come straight back in and he's working harder than everybody in the team or at least as hard as the best which for me is a fantastic sign from a, a very talented player and there he is the pass out to Cecil Africa lovely flat pass out to uh, Dylan Sage five meters short on the trial and who has goes in and over what a try and that's what Francois Hochat gives you. Well, tremendous strength, isn't it? With a lovely run from Dylan Sage up the right-hand wing. Hochat has capitalized on speed to that ruck area there. Watch that lovely pass out to Sage. The cut inside. Now he's got the attentions of three of the Canadian defenders. As he goes to ground, there's Hochat. That's the drift out to Sage. Inside, outside, and... Just pulling in those players, and this will be where they get the overlap. Hochard knows it's really close to the ruck and close to the line. And it's a little dart for him, a step, and he's over. Great strength from the Springbok scrum half. As Cecil Africa does it again. Isn't he just fantastic? He's got such an ability, those long-range drop goals. Cecil Africa just really keeps the Blitzbox in the game. That's... 21 points it could easily have just been 15 they weren't well Kankowski's first one was an easier one but two really difficult conversions great work from Africa and he's off and Roscoe Speckman is on for Cecil Africa and he's no slouch either Advantage. Canada Advantage. trailed by 21 to nil 
midway through the second half, it's one-way traffic again. First touch then for Speckman. So Schwapo there, he's just come on as well. Quick turnaround from the blitz box. First try. Not quite finding Schneeman this time. Yeah, good to see Snowman. He's skipper of the side. He started on the bench. He's on. Speckman's on. And so Sevilla is so sharp here. He's on in jersey 12. He's on the left wing. So Snowman's on for Kankowski. And Kyle Brown now. Yeah, Agaba is coming on for Kyle Brown. That's it. And he was a revelation in Paris. He played really, really well. He's a loose forward in the 15s game. As Timothy Agaba, he's got real pace, he's a contributor. I just loved it, the engine. He was just going, you know, minute one to, to the final minute of every game. Great effort from him. So Mew Powell giving all the uh, squad members a chance to uh, stretch their legs here in the opening match. The game uh, well won, 21 to nil, but a chance here for Canada at last. Justin Douglas tries yeah, to get away from the uh, fresh legs of Sivire Sojuape. That's technically very, very good from Sojuape. He's reeled in Justin Douglas, made a good tackle, and then he's got to his feet again. He's shown the hands to the referee and he's competed for the ball on the ground. So he's won himself and his team a penalty just through technical ability and understanding of the situation. Look at that, he's the one-handed, he releases the player, he's up, his hands, and he's competing on the ground, and that makes Douglas make three, the mistake. Nine, so the Blitzbox have taken that penalty, and kicked it out, now they'll attack from a line-out. South Africa runners up in 2014-15. Uh, no, 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 wait, wait. A chance to clinch the World Series here at Twickenham, that Fiji's eventual progression to the Cup semi-finals ensured them the overall title. Late winners in uh, Paris last weekend. Agaba down the Hochart into the hands of Dipena. This is the exciting Roscoe Speckman. So is Lappe into the Canadian 22. A little bit of footwork there from Speckman. A little bit of footwork again from uh, Hochart. Ball eludes uh, Schneemann. But again, the distributor, thanks very much. The referee Ruiz will call them back. A little bit of information from the assistant referee here. Okay, just get Larty against number. Okay. Now the tackle. It's an early tackle from Canada. There was a bit of a melee of bodies there. They've uh, been really unlucky on, on that one because they have managed to grab back position, haven't they? Well, Canada, they came into this London tournament looking for a confidence booster ahead of Monaco, having seen Samoa, one of the main contenders for that 12th uh, spot for Rio, win in Paris. Ah, just a, a forward pass. Have a good position, forward pass. Yeah, I was in a good position, says Alex Ruiz. Straight in line with that pass. Oh, they'll be disappointed with that. It's a set piece attack from South Africa. And it's just across the face. Yeah, looking for the space. You have to probe and work. I mean, sevens, we know the size of a rugby field, and with, you know, less than half of Bunch. the players on the field, it seems like there's a lot of space, but their defensive techniques these days, they just close it right down. So you really got to look for the little hook and crook to get over the advantage line. And on the converse side, there's no room to hide, no place to hide either. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> on a wide pitch, uh, as we have here in uh, in Twickenham, the clock runs down to the last uh, 30 seconds. It's been all South Africa, but they've they've kept their powder dry to all intents and purposes, haven't they? they? They've just managed the game well, knowing that there'll be tougher games to come in this tournament. Well, absolutely. If they need to if they need to load the barrels, they're going to throw them in with two bullets of Ciabella Sanatla in starting, but Sashwapa has done very, very well. Kankowski was very good. Yeah, just a That's reference there to Ciabella Sanatla, the top try scorer on the uh, circuit this season, but we'll have to wait until the... Uh, the next game before we uh, we see him the hooter has gone but there's still time for uh, the last play in the hands of referee alex ruiz here 
Yeah, a couple of rule changes which I think have been very good for the game. So if they have the, the scrummage and that's before the, the hoot is gone, then they will get that advantage. Canada, I'm not so sure they, they're going to want to give up. They want to get onto the scoreboard. And will it give South Africa the advantage? Will any sort of score for Canada could well prove uh, valuable in the final reckoning when we uh, come to the end of day one because it'll determine where each team plays on the second day. Phil Mack, so often the inspiration for Canada. Again, that uh, number seven, Canada's highest point scorer ever. Canada just uh, can't get out on their own half. This is where they've been camped uh, for all of the, uh, the second period. And the ball is tied up there again as uh, all the South African players has a firm grip on the ball. This time, perhaps, Phil Berner over the 10-meter line, but he's on his own. And finally, Harry Jones gets there, just piling into the breakdown area, and he will be penalised. It may have been uh, Phil Berner for not releasing, actually. Hochart tries to get the pass back inside. Phil Mack has a, a quick look into the... Uh, the wide open space is on the far Back on. left, but seeing that uh, the path of his uh, pass was blocked. Well, that's a nice run around there from Canada, almost away. What is? Douglas again, well uh, covered as Mack tries to get his hands no, on no, the no, ball. No. So we're in referee time, John Moonlight looking to barge his way through, and the captain will get a consolation score for Canada, but that's all it's going to be because it has been all South Africa. Two tries for Kankowski in the uh, opening seven minutes and that uh, dart from the base of the ruck for Francois Huchat and the kicks from Cecil Africa wrapped it up for South Africa, 21 to 7.